My next job was right after high school ended. I worked the graveyard shift, midnight to seven in the morning, at this factory a couple of miles from my parents' house. The factory made these doohickeys that looked like this. I think they were called electric fuel line armatures. To this day, I still haven't the slightest idea what they did or what they were for. It was an assembly line job, and I worked on a machine that looked something like this. All I had to do was put one of these thingies up here and one of these thingies down here, press these two buttons, and presto. The two previously ununified thingies would now be one conjoined thingy, and I placed them on a tray, ready for the next person to add further thingies. I didn't mind the job at all because I could zone out and listen to my Walkman all night, although after a while it began to sink into me that this was a vastly different work experience than I'd had before. See, the work I had done previously were just after-school goof-off jobs. This was the first time I was surrounded by people where I knew it was their actual career and their means of survival. I vividly remember a lot of the people that I worked with. There was the surly foreman with the Fonzie haircut who had this nose adorned with the most massive blackheads I had ever seen before or since. There was the ex-high school football star who was almost recruited into the New England Patriots until something went wrong with his knee. There was the woman who had divorced her first husband because he was a pothead, but was now discovering that her second husband was an alcoholic. And there was the guy I talked with in the cafeteria over lunch, who told me that he had once partied backstage with Motley Crue. He assured me that everything I'd ever heard about those guys was true. This was a new environment for me, and I had all night, five times a week, to ponder what I thought about it. It was humbling, to say the least. There are a lot of different ways to be 18 years old, and one of them is to assume that every generation before your own was stupid and incompetent, and your generation has got all the brains and all the answers, and of course your lives are going to be awesome and successful because, you know, you're you. Let's just say that after a few months in that place, this illusion in me was totally gone, and my attitude and outlook on life had changed from, don't worry, everything is going to work out, to, there are an infinite number of ways that absolutely everything could go wrong. Anyway, I quit this place for one simple reason. Being awake all night and asleep during the day can really start to mess with your head. You get really disoriented if you never see the sun, and so you stay up longer during the day, so you get less sleep, and eventually your brain starts to go into a hallucinatory state, quite naturally. In case the following is not obvious, here's a public service announcement. It is a very poor idea to hallucinate while operating heavy machinery. All I remember about quitting was that the surly foreman suddenly got very jovial and philosophical. He told me a few anecdotes about being in the military, which I totally didn't understand, and then he wished me good luck, and that was the end of it. I leave you with a less obvious cliffhanger than last time. I'll do another video about jobs if I feel like it.